George Washington High School isn't the only campus feeling the burden of too many students. According to Jose Algeria's middle school acting principal, Stacy Sahagan, her PD campus is beginning to feel the load. It feels overcrowded. In the last couple of years, we've seen an increase in student enrollment. Um, that might be because maybe more, more um, families are choosing to live in some of our districted areas. We are feeling the increase because the, the, the classes should only have about 28 students. So when there's 30 or 31, of course the teachers and the students are going to feel that there's extra bodies in the classroom. To cater to the extra students, Department of Education has allowed Sahagan to hire additional staff. Of course, the other issue here at Rios is that um, every classroom is being occupied by a teacher already. George Washington High School principal, Begonia Flores, says her campus has struggled with overcrowding for 10 years. We have gone through the process of uh, looking at numbers and where they're coming from and uh, we did that routine four different times to come up with redistricting plan, meaning uh, where these uh, students coming from and where they should go. Maybe it should be revisited, the notion of redistricting, uh, to alleviate the overcrowding. Department of Education Interim Superintendent Talling Titano. We have enough uh, classrooms for our district. The problem is they're all in the south, and so how do we um, you know, balance that because certainly, you know, parents I'm sure want to have the kids going to school, you know, as close to home as possible. Uh, but, you know, you, tr you try to weigh that against, you know, how do you create a better learning environment for the students and certainly that's with smaller schools and with small class sizes. Titano says consolidating schools may also be an option. In terms of cost savings is the possibility of consolidating some of the schools. Um, so the board, so the, so the uh, you know management team is taking a look at that. We have a number of schools um, in the south that uh, have relatively small enrollments, and so one one of the ways that we can um, one of the ways that we can uh, look at saving money is to consolidate schools. Um, it's something that we're looking at. It's not something that has been decided definitely. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.